Hi everybody, happy St. Patrick's Day. It's Miss Cabral and I'm going to read you guys a story. So my story today is The Night Before St. Patrick's Day. Twas the night before St. Patrick's Day, the day to wear green. Not a creature was stirring, except for Tim and Maureen. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find where he buried his big pot of gold. They set all the traps around the room with great care in hopes of a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. Look at the detail on those traps. The children then nestled all snug in their beds while visions of golden coins danced in their heads. I think even the dog is dreaming. Happy St. Patty, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. When from their bedroom there arose such a clatter, the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter. And what to their wandering eyes should appear? What do you guys think it is? But a terrible mess! A leprechaun was here. Let's see if we see evidence of that leprechaun. Oh my gosh. I see little footprints. Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold the stair. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor. Which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then inside a trap, they heard someone giggling, a real life leprechaun. They both saw him wriggling. His eyes, how they twinkled, his body so tiny. His hand clasped the trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed in all green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The 
The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky, no lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your backyard. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. Look at all those X's. I don't know, unless they dig up the whole yard. Ha ha, I fooled you. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you and better luck next year. So I forgot to mention in the beginning that this book was written by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Amy Woomer. It's a scholastic book. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Um, maybe you guys can set up your own leprechaun traps and see what you catch today. Thank you. Bye.